Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your girl Caroline. I'm back with this new video and I wanted to show you guys how I got this gorgeous full sew in lace frontal pixie cut. Okay, so let's just get started. All right, you guys, so the hair that I use in this video is from Pudding Hair. I will leave all the Pudding Hair links in the description box for you guys to check out. But I actually just used their frontal because I wanted to achieve something different in this video. But you can see their frontal came pre-plugged. Their frontal was not dense. It wasn't bulky inside. It was really thin out. And this is what helps make this um, pixie cut to turn out as soft and beautiful looking as it looks. So I went ahead and I switched up their bundles. I did not use their bundles. I did go ahead and use the Tara Hair Violet, the Ultra Violet Tara Hair brand. I went ahead and used one pack of it in the back to achieve this um, pixie cut look. Oh, hello. This is me again. No makeup, bare face, short hair. Yes, I'm back. Anyway, I'm starting off with the braiding part on to achieve this look. I'm going to do my first braid and it's going to go um, into a L-shaped form. I'm just going to um, part my hair straight back and then I'm going to part my hair at my nip area and I'm going to go straight across my nape area to do my first braid. After I do my first braid, I go ahead and do my second braid in the same L-shaped form, just going straight across my nip area. This will help me as a nice little base for the back so that the back of my pixie cut can look flat and even and nice. Moving on to the rest of the braids, I just went ahead and braided all the braids going back and I um, position all the ends together and then I just tuck the last tail in and this is my braiding part of all right now that I have my braids situated now I'm gonna start off with my got to be glue and I'm just gonna slick back my edges I'm using the got to be glue to slick down my edges and then I'm going to take my stocking cap you can use any stocking cap that you find that matches close to your skin tone but this is actually a knee high stocking um, and I chose this one because that's the closest I could find to my skin tone. So I picked this up and I went ahead and I applied it to my head and I applied more got to be glue and then I took my got to be sprays and I spray it down. Now this takes about 20 minutes to do to get it dry. You can either let it air dry which would take longer or you can use a blow dryer. So I went ahead and used my blow dryer for about 20 minutes to get it really dry and nice like the way I wanted it to be. Alright so once I have my stocking cap dry in the front and it's securely flat down i go ahead and take my needle and thread and i sew um right in the middle of the stocking cap on top of my head i just go from one side of my ear and um securely sew to the next side of my other ear this just helps the stocking to stay in place so that it does not shift around after I cut it all right so I apply the stocking cap to the front of my hair and I sew it down the reason I does that because the stocking cap is going to act as a scalp that when I do go ahead and part my lace frontal it will um, be underneath the lace and pretend as my scalp so the parting looks a little bit realistic once I have that securely down, 
I go ahead and take my scissors and cut off all the extra stocking cap around my head and in the back of it. I cut the back of it because I'm going to go ahead and apply a um, weaving net to the back. This will help my um, pixie cut in the back to lay down as flat because I am going to be doing a sew in with it. All right, so once I have the weaving net securely down um, on the back of my head, I go ahead and connect the stocking cap and the weaving net, and I sew them both together in the middle of my head. And then I just take the needle and thread, and I go around my nip area and securely um, sew the weaving net down to my head. All right, you guys, so my base is securely um, down. I have my stocking cap and my weaving neck securely sewn down onto my braids, and this is my good base that I'm ready to start to apply my frontal. Next, I go ahead and take my foundation powder, and I tint the stocking cap a little bit just to make sure that the stocking matches my skin tone perfectly. Moving on to this part to start to apply the lace frontal. Before you get to this part, Make sure you cut, you have customized your frontal the way you like it to be. Make sure you have bleached your knots if you like your knots bleached. Make sure you have tweezed the front of it if it's bulky. Make sure you have added your baby hair if you wanted to add baby hair. Make sure you have added your elastic band. Make sure your lace frontal is fully customized to how you like it before you apply it to your head. Okay? So moving on right now, I'm just positioning it on my front hairline. And as you guys can see, that looks really nice. It looks really realistic. It looks like the hair is actually pulling out of my scalp. I'm just making sure that it's positioned nicely and I have it to where I want it to sit. Alright, so once I have the frontal position to where I want it um, to sit, I go ahead and take a thin layer of the got to be glue gel and I apply a very thin layer to my hairline where the stocking stops. I go ahead and apply a very thin layer. Then I take the got to be spray and I spray my forehead the thin layer down a little bit. This just helped the frontal to stay in place um, as I do the sew in so the frontal doesn't shift around when I start to sew. Next, I take a little bit of my blow dryer and maybe for about um, five minutes, I go ahead and securely dry the um, got to be glued down just a little bit before I apply the frontal to my hairline. And this is what I do to make the frontal stay in place as I do my sewing so it doesn't shift around. It just still position until my sewing is complete. Alright, once the frontal is um, securely on my forehead and its position is in place, I go ahead and I remove the hair out of the way and I take my needle and thread and I start to sew the frontal down to the weaving net and the stocking cap. I start from in the middle and I work my way down towards um, the left side of my ear and then I'm going to come back and work my way from the middle to the right side of my ear to securely sew the frontal down.
all right once i securely have the frontal sewn down in the back i go ahead and i take a thin layer in the middle of the frontal i part a row on one of the braids and i sew a thin layer of thread going coming from the back going towards the front this helped the frontal to stay in place and it doesn't shift around even if the got to be glue came off I do sew down the sides of my ears and then I take a pair of scissors and I cut around my ear so the um, pieces don't be hanging over my ear and flapping over my ear. Once that is done, I go ahead and remove the hair out of the way and it's time for us to apply our shirt um, hair in the back. All right, before I start to sew down my tie right here, I go ahead and cut off the elastic band in the back. Once the frontal is securely sewn down and I know that it's not going to move or shift around, I cut off the elastic band part. All right, so once I have the elastic band cut off, I'm ready to apply um, the Tara hair in the back. So I'm going to be um, taking one track of um, the Tara hair and I'm going to sew it in a U-shaped form. I'm going to start to sew from one side of my ear and work my way to the other side of my ear. This just helped the nip, the nip area looks flat and when it's time when it comes time to cutting this will help uh, my back stay in line that i don't have to do much cutting back there because i will be doing the cutting myself and i cannot see in the back of my head so this just helped me um to stay um nice and a little bit sharp and clean in the back once i apply this first track All right, so once I apply my first layer down, as you guys can see, it helps the back of my neck. Looks a little clean and sharp that I don't have to do a much cutting back there. I'm going to double up my tracks now using three layers at a time. This will just help um, the back look full and stay full. So I'm doubling the track. I'm just going to sew straight across, um, moving my way on the top till I get to the lace frontal. Okay, so in the Tara hair box, the hair comes in three different um, layers um, and three different inches. It comes in a two inches length, it comes in a four inches length, and it comes in a six inches length. I did use all of the um, two inches in the back. I did use the four inches in the middle, and now I'm using the six inches on the top to close up the um, back. So I'm attaching the last um, track to the lace frontal to close up this sewing. All right, you guys, so I'm completely done with the sew-in, but as you guys can see, what I realized 
that the Tara hair was a little bit darker than the frontal hair. I did try to match it, so I got a 1B in the Tara hair. I think I should have gotten a cut of 2, which will match it more better. But I mean, it doesn't look as bad once I did the styling. But just make sure if you do go get it, just try to match your Tara hair better to your frontal. So it looks seamless when you do your um, pixie cut. All right, so moving on to the styling. First, we're gonna be cutting this hair. Um, we want a short pixie cut. That's the look we're going for. So we're gonna cut a lot and shave a lot of it off. First, I go in here and I suction into three sections in the front. And once I have my three sections in the front, I'm gonna leave the top part a little bit longer, but I'm just going to cut the sides and I'm going to make them extremely short. Um, I'm going to be to using my razor comb to um, achieve this cut. So I just go ahead and take my razor and I start to razor off a lot of the hair. And for the middle part um, that I suction off in the front, I'm going to raise a comb it and cut some off, but I'm not going to make it as short as, the, as I did the side parts. Um, I'm just going to raise her off a little bit because I want a little bit more length in the front. All right, once I have the frontal and the back cut down a little bit, I know it look crazy, but it'll come together. I'm taking a little bit of the baby hair. I'm just pouring a little bit of the hair in the front part, and I'm just going to use a razor just to cut it, just to make the baby hair look a little more shorter so it looks a little more natural in the front. All right, you guys, you can see the cut look a little crazy. So I had to mold this hair twice. The first time I mold the frontal down because I wanted to get a precise look of how the cut look after I did the razor. Um, the hair was all over the place. So I mold it down first and I used my Cenex strip and I wrapped the entire hair. And then I used my blow dryer. I held um, the blow dryer for about um, 15 to 20 minutes, just making sure that the entire hair is dry. And once the um, hair was completely dry, I took the Cenex um, script off. And as you guys can see, now I have a precise look of how the cut look. This is something you're going to have to do. So I went in with my pair of scissors and I used the pair of scissors and I tried to clean up the cut. I make sure I went around my ears just shaving it off a little more so that it's neat around my ear and it's a little flat so that it's not bulky around my ear. So I did went ahead and chip off some more of the cut. All right, so once I went ahead and cleaned up my ear and cleaned up the cut a little more, I did shave 
some of um, the ear part off just to thin it out so it's not bulky around the hairline. I did wrap the hair for the second time. I molded for the second time and then I did my makeup. So I waited for it to dry while I was doing my makeup. So once it was dry, I went ahead and I took the Cenex wrapped off. All right, you guys, so once I took the Cenex wrap off, you guys can see how the cut looks. You can actually rock it like this if you choose to, if it doesn't want any type of curling. But I wanted to jazz it up for you guys just to show you guys um, the finished look and add some curls. So using my small curling iron, I believe it's from Red Pro, I went ahead and just added some curls in the front. Alright you guys, so this is the end of this full sew in lace frontal pixie cut. Okay you guys, I love, love, love the finished results. Do you guys see that? Look at how natural that looks. I absolutely love the end results of this sew in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out this frontal from Pudding Hair. I will leave all the links in the description box. For you guys to check out as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe i will catch you all in my next video bye